In this video, I'm sharing with you the best books to read for project managers if you wanna grow your career and land that next position in a leadership role. As we go through this video, if there's any book that you're interested in, you can check out all links in the description bar down below. You can also listen to any of these books for free just by signing up for a free trial of Audible using my link at audibletrial.com slash Alvin the PM. Now the very first book that I recommend is called The Leadership Challenge, How to Make Extraordinary Things Happen in Organizations by James Cousins and Barry Posner. If there's only one book on leadership that you need, this is the one that you should definitely read. The authors are two of the world's most renowned leading researchers on the science of leadership, and they've looked at thousands of case studies of leaders, studying what characteristics truly define a leader. Now, this book goes in depth talking about what does leadership look like at its very personal best. The authors identify five practices that great leaders come back to over and over again. Now, the basic idea here is that you can become a better leader by learning and mastering specific behaviors. Just like everything that we do, we can level up and cultivate our skills to be a better leader. The five practices that the author talks about are number one, they model the way. Second, they inspire a shared vision. Number three, they challenge the process. Four, they enable others to act. And five, they encourage the heart. Now, each section in the book goes deep into each principle in so much more detail with extensive real-life case studies. So if you're a leader, maybe you're a manager or a project manager, or you want to pivot your career into a leadership role, then this is the number one leadership book that I recommend if you're trying to learn how to be a better manager and lead your teams. It describes many leadership scenarios that we've all been through and it will plunge you right into the mindset of other leaders who've been there and who have done it using their case studies. After reading this book, it completely changed my view on leadership and this is a must read on my list. Read this book and decide for yourself. Apply what you read and learn and you're gonna be a better leader afterwards. Now, as we move on to the second book, make sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comment section below which book interests you the most. Now, the second book that I highly recommend is called Extreme Ownership by Jocko Wheeling and Leif Babin. As you can tell just from the title itself, leadership is all about taking ownership taking full responsibility for your actions and accepting accountability when things go right and when things go wrong. The authors teach you all of the leadership principles that you need to know through very immersive war stories when they were literally out on the battlefield in Iraq. They close out each chapter by opposing these principles to the business world with real life examples. So you're learning how simple leadership concepts apply to the business world and how you can tailor this to your own career. If you're ever in a situation where you have to lead teams, manage a department, or let's say that you're spearheading an initiative for your organization. From my own reading, the lessons are completely spot on. And if you're struggling with how to be a better leader or how to improve your team dynamics so that no one is working in individual silos, then this is the perfect book for you. The best lesson that I got from reading this book is how to approach problems and how to drive communication with other people so that we all share the same vision. Many of the principles from this book have had a huge positive influence on me and it's how I approach what I do every single day as a project manager. Now the third book that I recommend is called Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as if your life depended on it by Chris Voss. This book, it's the Bible on negotiation that I've read and listened to the audiobook multiple times because of all its jam-packed lessons. Who better to teach you how to negotiate, 
than someone who's been doing high stakes negotiation as a world-class FBI hostage negotiator. As Chris Voss says it, negotiation is nothing more than communication with results. The basics that he teaches are very easy to understand, but it can take time to really perfect it. The whole centerpiece of the book is around what's called tactical empathy, which is contingent on active listening to what the other person is saying and using a few techniques such as labeling and mirroring to disarm the other person. You wanna connect with that person on an emotional level and drive that negotiation forward. So for example, when you affirm what you're hearing and you label and you repeat back what the other person is saying, you're going to disarm your counterpart and you're going to make that barrier to entry much lower. For example, it seems like you don't wanna move forward with the sales terms in our contract. When your counterpart says, that's right, that's when you know you've connected in a meaningful way which can open up the doors for negotiation. One of the best insights that I got from this book was learning how to use what's called calibrated questions instead of statements. When someone asks or demands you to do something, counter them with a question like, how am I supposed to do that? And just this one sentence will shift the conversation and force them to negotiate and solve that problem for you. There are so many of these techniques that you can learn from this book and you can apply it to your personal life, especially when it comes to informal negotiations, job promotions, challenges at work, or when you're trying to purchase a new car. I recommend this book to anyone who wants to get better at negotiation because as Chris Voss says it, every conversation is a negotiation and it's one of the most useful skills that you can learn and apply right away. By the way, if you're getting a lot of value out of this video, don't forget to smash that like button for me because it shows that your support for me so I can keep creating high quality videos just like this. All right, so the fourth book that I recommend is called Crucial Conversations, Tools for Talking When Stakes Are High. This book is the practical guide with how to have dialogue and effective communication when you're in the most difficult conversations, whether it's in your workplace or your personal life. When I first got this book, I didn't expect that much out of it. And I was honestly quite surprised. The authors teach you how to reduce that tension and prevent your conversation from just <sighs> from exploding into an argument by focusing on creating a safe environment with the person that you're speaking to. A lot of times, we get caught up with ourselves with needing to win and always needing to be right. This book, it taught me to always keep in mind what do I want for myself and what do I want for others? What's our common goal and our shared vision? And when you frame your conversations from that perspective, you'll ultimately want everyone to feel safe so that they trust you and they're more open to having transparent and honest conversations with you. The authors go so much deeper into the behavior side as well. And since reading this book, I'm much more aware when I'm in a crucial conversation, what my emotions are and what tools I have so that it's safe for anyone to talk about anything. So if you're like me and you're someone who wants to get better at how to communicate, then this book is perfect for you. Now, the next book on my list is called The Making of a Manager what to do when everyone looks to you. If you're a manager like I have, or you recently accepted a job in a management role, this book will walk you step by step with how to succeed. A new manager takes about at least one to two years to really settle into their role and learn the basics. But with this book, you can get up to speed very quickly and learn from Julie, who's been a manager at Facebook. I believe that she was also the vice president of design and you can take all of her lessons learned and apply it to your career. There are a few key highlights that I wanted to share with you from this book. The first is that as a manager, one of your biggest responsibilities is to make sure that your team understands what success looks like. The second biggest thing that I took away is that your role as a manager is not to do the work of your team. It sounds pretty intuitive, right? 
Your job is to improve the people and the processes so that they can achieve even greater results combined. And the third idea that I took away is that as a manager, you wanna focus your efforts on building a great team and to support them in reaching their goals. So if you're thinking about becoming a manager, you need to buy this book. There is literally no other book out there than this one, which walks you step by step to help you decide if management is the right path for you. Just several chapters alone are worth the cost of this book because it will change your mindset and help you decide if you want to pivot your career. And I know that I have to stop here, but I do have one bonus book that I absolutely recommend, and that is called The First 90 Days, Proven Strategies for Getting Up to Speed Faster and Smarter. I have personally used this book for many years now, anytime I transition into a new role. This was actually the exact book that I read when I landed my first engineering project manager role, and I wasn't quite sure how to speed up quickly or what to do on a week by week basis while I was onboarding and familiarizing myself with my new company and my new position. The best thing about this book is that there are many checklists that you can use to make sure that you stay on track every week in your first 90 days. I personally recommend that you create your 90 day plan while you're reading this book and sharing your 90 day plan with your managers to align on your responsibilities and expectations. From reading it myself, this is the only book that you need if let's say you're starting a new job, then I highly, highly recommend checking it out. All links to all the books that I've shared with you can be found in the description bar down below. As I've mentioned earlier, you can listen to any of these phenomenal leadership and career books completely for free by signing up to Audible using my link at audibletrial.com forward slash Alvin the PM. Now, if you're starting to apply to jobs, it's very, very important that you know how to negotiate your salary and to never leave money on the table. Watch this video next to learn exactly how to do your salary research, and I'll see you in the next video.